Hi, Body Fire team, or Team Body Fire. I'm Jace Haskell, this is David Arnott. Now we have put together today, I say we, David the main man has put together a hit high intensity training session, which is all about burning fat. So David, you take it away. Okay, first of all, I'll quickly tell you why. Um, HIIT isn't just circuit training. We want to try and work at maximum intensity for a short period of time, but try and produce lactic acid. That creates a massive oxygen debt. That, the recovery from that will then burn the fat. So we're not looking for half arsed, like half reps. We're looking for all out, go for it, and then recover. So it's about 30 seconds of work, 90 seconds of recover, okay? So you don't have to worry about the, the other sets that you might be tired for. Get it done, recover, start again, repeat. And then obviously before that, we have a normal uh, warm up, mobility, you're gonna you know, loosen me up. So Shane, you're gonna take us through the first part of the session, which is a very key mobility focused warm up. Yeah, exactly James. We're gonna start you from the ground up. Okay, we're gonna work all the way up onto our feet. Well, first of all, we start you on the back, knees into your chest and just rolling back and forth, just to open up your, your sort of spine area a little bit, get a little bit of warmth through the body. Feet on the ground, knees together, hands right out at 90 degrees. We're just gonna let you get your window wipers going. You know, just to really free up that lower back movement, you're gonna do some deep to high pulls in a little bit, so we need to make sure that's moving a bit. In. Roll you over, and we're just gonna open up that upper back and thoracic area. We're gonna put that knee bent. Make sure your knee is completely strict on the ground. You do about six to eight of those movements. Going on from there, we stand you up on your feet. Let's get some lunge clocks going. Really getting the hip drive, glute drive, hamstrings firing up. We go through to 12 o'clock, six o'clock, right across the body, and then back behind us into what's called a posterior lunge. Four, five on each leg is fine. From there, we go into a walkout. We're gonna drive the hamstring, keep the hamstring drive going. Legs nice and straight all the way up. Make sure we're not overarching at the bottom. Make sure we go out nice and straight three, four of them, just getting some hamstring working. From there, a big step through, single leg step through to rotation. Once again, functional movement, trying to get the rotation working, trying to get warmth in the body, and then finish off on some good old vinyasas from the yoga team. From there, you're ready to go. So David, talk me through the session. Okay, so three, three simple ones. We're gonna go a, a dumbbell, th dumbbell thruster. So on the dumbbells, you squat, you press. We're trying to use as many muscles as possible. The difference between the weight of the, of the dumbbell is if you're strong, you go for a heavy one. If, you go, if you're not so strong, you go for a lighter one. It's 30 seconds, full weight. So if you, if you can't do 30 seconds with a 24, don't put a 24 up because the reps, the, the, your whole, the rep range is gonna be terrible. Go lighter, take put your ego down, grab a smaller weight and go for the whole 30 seconds. High intensity and all out. Put the dumbbell down, rest. Then repeat. 30 seconds work, 90 seconds rest. Five rounds. Sounds horrific. Next we have walk bike. Or if you've not got a walk bike, another, an, it could be the rower, it could be a verse climber, it could be but, well, aerodyne. Yeah, verse climber okay. is the naughtiest piece of conditioning equipment out there. So you could do that, you get okay. a full body workout and a pump as well, do you? Yeah, so a, a horrible bit of kit. And it's again, 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off. The reason we picked the walk bike today is he's just done a fair bit on the thrusters, his probably arm's gonna be tired out. So arms rest, right, get you on the bike. Go for it. Again, whack it right up, intensity up, and, and feel your legs burning. That's, that's the idea. Last part, so arms are kind of tired, legs are kind of tired, right? Blast your whole body. So we've got ropes. Um, if you don't have ropes, again, something like burpees or incline sprints, resistor sprints, something that's full body, again, all out. So we've got the ropes, big old rope slams, massive big movements, um, and again, everything in. So with this hit training, you can put it on at the end of a session to, to, to burn that fat after a normal, a normal workout or you can make it a standalone session a couple of times uh, a week. Yeah, so you did three today, potentially you could just do one of them. Go for the rope squat, all, all body, and, and maybe just do one, that's a 10 minutes. Um, this morning I did um, four, so I did four exercises, so 10 minutes on each. That's 40 minutes work done, I'm out of there, lying on my back. You could do it in the pool, you could do it at sprints, you could do it in the park, it doesn't, it's just pick four big movements that's using your whole body, sprint, crawl, whatever. 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off, repeat five times and again, it increases your fitness, your VO2 max, that's all proven. Okay, brilliant, if you like that video, there are plenty more from me and David. Um, all you need to do is you should subscribe by clicking the button, you comment, and we'll start looking at your comments and we'll start reading your comments out. So please be nice, there are lots of these, none of these. You can follow David at Twitter at... 
David Arnett underscore PT. Or you can follow me at jhbodyfire. Please visit www.jhbodyfire.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. Make sure you never miss a video. Make sure you never miss a training session. That was really embarrassing. See you soon. Bye, bye, bye.